That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. For over 50 years, we've been inspired by these iconic images of the first humans to walk on the moon. Now the European Space Agency and NASA are working together on a modern-day version of the Apollo program. Called Artemis, it will put astronauts back on the lunar surface. The Apollo missions have mainly landed in the illuminated equatorial area of the moon, but there are much more interesting areas to be explored, like the poles and like the dark side of the moon. The today most visible European contribution to lunar exploration programs is the ESA developed service module, the propulsion and power module of the Artemis crew module. The European Service Module, or ESM, is the heart of the Artemis spacecraft. It will provide electricity, water and air to NASA's Orion crew capsule, as well as maintaining temperature for life support. Its engines will provide propulsion and navigation control for the journey to the Moon and back. ESA's industrial partner Airbus has already built two service modules for Orion, with hardware from companies throughout Europe. Now they've signed a contract with ESA to develop a third module. Artemis III will see a woman and a man walk on the lunar surface, continuing where the Apollo program left off almost half a century ago. We have companies in 10 countries helping to put this ESM together. And actually there are hundreds and thousands of people working within Airbus, but all in our partner companies to make this endeavor a successful mission. This lunar spacecraft comprises ESA's ESM-1 and NASA's Orion crew capsule. Having recently completed space simulation tests at NASA's Plum Brook Station in Ohio, it will be used for an uncrewed certification flight, performing a six-day orbit around the Moon. This first joint step towards revisiting the lunar surface will continue the long-standing tradition of international cooperation in space. Space is one of the best examples for international cooperation uh, in terms of science and technology. Our ISS is a multinational project and uh, we've seen a lot of projects there that really bring together the whole community in terms of um, space and exploration and um, to do this work together as scientists working on the same aim, uh, working for mankind. The next two flights of the Artemis program will be crewed lunar missions with power, propulsion and life support also provided by the second and third European service modules. The Moon is really our eighth continent and uh, it's there to be discovered. Astronauts, engineers and scientists are very excited to go to the Moon because it's uh, pure exploration. It's uh, discovering terra incognita. We would go to regions that were never been well, explored by a human, uh, neither robotically nor in person. The first European service module will soon be on its way to the Moon. Artemis One is scheduled for launch in late 2021. It will mark the beginning of this ambitious program to explore the Moon and beyond, highlighting ESA's ability to deliver critical components based on proven technology.